Hey, it's Nick here. I just wanted to make a little quick video and show you guys how to make char cloth. Now, char cloth is great stuff. It's just this blackened cotton material and it takes a spark really well. Um, some people like to use it with like flint and steel and it helps them start their fires or like me, I use it in my fire pistons to ignite um, fires that way. But what you need are strips of 100% cotton um, cloth or material or what I used was an old t-shirt. And I just cut it into strips here. I don't know, about 10 or 12 strips. Um, the size of your strips doesn't really matter, but what I'm going to be using today to burn this stuff in is an old Altoids tin. You can see I've used this a few times to make char cloth, but what I do is I just lay it down in there and that's why I cut them that size because they fit perfectly. So to, to make char cloth you'll need some kind of a metal container that seals off so that the fire doesn't touch the, the cotton as it's being cooked. Um, you can use an Altoids tin, that's one of the easiest methods I know of. Here's a smaller tin I've used to make smaller amounts of char cloth. You could also use something like this old um, watch tin that I got with one of my watches. Um, but what you would need to make sure you do with each of anything you use to make char cloth in, um, if it seals off like that, that's what you need. But you need to drill at least one little hole in the top. You can see. I've drilled a hole. That lets um, pressure escape, otherwise your top is going to pop off. Now, when you're making char cloth, you can, like I said, you put your your cotton material inside your container. I've seen people use tins like this, or you can, you know, somehow fit two cans together, whatever works. And there's a number of ways you can burn this. You can either put it on a barbecue, you can use a, you know, just coals from an actual fire, or what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna use my alcohol stove to cook this. I think that's a pretty easy and quick method. Okay, so we're making some char cloth here. I'm just gonna get my alcohol stove ready. I'm putting in a full three ounces of fuel here because this char cloth is gonna need some time to burn. So, you know, I usually use two ounces or like one and a half to boil water but I'm using three ounces so this can cook okay I know it's hard to see it's really bright out here but my alcohol stove is ready to go it's I've let it warm up and it's burning it's been burning for about a minute now um, now I'm gonna put my char cloth container on top of there and we're just gonna let this burn, so. <laughs> Had a little pop there, I don't know what that was about, but you just wanna let this burn for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna let it burn till the alcohol is out of the stove, which is probably gonna be more like 20 minutes. Okay, we're starting to see some smoke come out of the little holes on the container and that is normal that's good that's what we want you'll actually know your char cloth is done once there's no more smoke coming out of it all right i let that char cloth burn on there till the alcohol ran out and uh I let it cool down. I'll show you what we got inside here now. See that t-shirt which was white before is now completely black. You'll know if your char cloth uh, didn't finish burning, you'll know because um, your t-shirt will still be either you know white or brown, but when it's completely black like this, then you know it's done. And another thing I forgot to mention is um, when you see smoke coming out of your hole, out of the top here, a normal thing that happens is that smoke will catch on fire and you'll see a flame coming out of there. Now that's normal and um, that's okay if that happens. 
so don't worry too much about that. But anyway, that's how to make char cloth. So we'll see you next time.